Hey everyone, it's Veronica and in this video I want to show you a couple of things that I did with the video in this demonstration that I created. It's basically using a credit sequence from a movie to any learning. So this could be a meet the team induction kind of interaction and it does use a lot of video in it. And I had a community member email me to ask me how I had treated the video. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you uh, first of all, how you can crop videos in Articulate Storyline 2 and then I'm going to show you a really simple way to create these um, visual effects on top of the video. As you can see, it's got a bit of a grainy, kind of retro-y sort of look. So it's very easy to do that and I'll show you how to do that. In particular, I'm going to work with the one of the videos that's coming up in a moment. I had a problem with the Storyline file where I couldn't save it so I actually don't have the source file for this but I'm going to show you how I did this anyway. So coming up in a moment will be the video that I'll be working with in this tutorial. So this one here has this guy and then these two other little videos come up on the screen and I'll be working with that one and showing you how I did that. So I'll get onto that right now. So I'm in Storyline and I'm going to show you, as I said, how to crop a video in Storyline 2 and how to create a simple visual effect. So I'm going to go to a clean slide. I'm going to insert my video. And I've got it all ready to go there. So that, I hope, is going to take up the whole screen and I don't have to fidget with that too much. So there's my video and it fits almost perfectly on the slide. It's a little, little bit left over there but I'm not going to worry about that for this tutorial. So basically to what I want to do is I want to have this video as it is on the background and then I want to add parts of this video to come up on the left side of the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy and paste. So I've just done Control C and Control V and you can see I've got two instances of the same video there. And working with the one that's on top, I'm going to go to the Video Tools um, button or tab up here and Options and I'm going to go to Edit Video. And So now that my video editor window has come up, I'm going to be using this crop function here. Now cropping a video doesn't actually mean reducing the duration of the video. Cropping a video means actually changing the shape of the video and, and or the size. So if I only wanted to say show, um, that's going to move like that, but if I can move it, um, you don't have to keep the proportions. So if you move it from the corners, it'll keep the proportion, but if you move it from the middle um, handles there, it, you can change the shape of it. So what I want to do is um, get a square of this guy here with the with the flip chart or whiteboard and what I want is for this to be a perfect square. Now down here in the information bit it tells you crop and that's telling me what my crop uh, shape is, uh, is, is like at the moment. So it's telling me it's 355 by 325. So I need to make it a little bit, let's see, let's make it 325 by 325 and it takes a little bit of fiddling because you can't actually enter the numbers. You've got to drag, but that's okay. There we go. So that's a perfect square and I want it to be showing this guy, maybe not so much at the bottom, so I'm going to use the corner handle just to drag it in a little bit and I know that I'm still keeping the perfect square. So that's that's a good square for me. So I'm going to save and close. And that's going to do the editing in the background and here's my little video. Now I wanted to take up half of the screen and I know that my screen is 400 pixels tall so I'm going to move it up that bit a little bit more and I think that'll probably be pretty good and I'm going to copy and drag so holding the control key and selecting the video you can drag to make another copy and they're just a little bit too small so I'll just I'll do this by, you know, just eyeballing it, but you can be a little bit more exact than that. And there we go. I've got a pretty two squares there. So in the demo, these 
two videos came onto the screen after this one had already started and I wanted that to be the case. So I want to do, I want that one to come in first. So I'm going to move it on the timeline to appear at say the three second mark or so. You play around and you do it and this one maybe just, I don't know, we'll say two seconds after that. So that's all good. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create a filter to go on top of this main video. So for the time being I'm going to turn the little ones off. No, not that one. That one. And I'm going to bring in my PowerPoint file where I have my my filters. So in my PowerPoint file the very first thing that I did was I created a rectangle shape in the color that I wanted which was yellow. And what I'm going to do next to this shape is I'm going to make it a little bit transparent or actually probably quite a bit transparent. Now I can't remember exactly how I did my demo but I'll, I'll play with it. I'll do something like that. So that's transparent. I'm going to control C to copy it. I'm going to go to a clean slide and I'm going to paste special and that's going to paste it as a PNG file, as a, as a picture. Which means that I now have my picture tools and I can apply artistic effects. So that's what I'm going to do next and I'm going to apply this let me see if I get it right um, now this one here it's called the film grain effect and you can see that that's given it a bit of a grainy kind of feel so I'm going to again select it and control copy and move this away and back in storyline I can paste directly in there and hopefully that's worked. Now because it's not quite the right size and this doesn't need to be perfect I can just stretch it out and you can see that the effect is still there now I might have done it a little maybe a little bit more transparent than this but like I said this is something that you've got to play around with until you get the look that you want now the other thing that I so that's that's the filter for this main video the other thing that I did I'm gonna turn these back on again is I, I had these separated by black lines and that's very very simple all you do is you use a um, rectangle shape to make a very thin line you paint it black and not in the ACDC sort of way no outline and then I'll just do um, another one I've got to go in so that it's giving me the the rotation tool no not yet bigger and there's my little rotation tool. It's a little bit annoying to to work with such um, thin shapes because you don't always get that little rotation tool. You've got to move around like this. But we'll get there. There we go. And now I'm just going to position it in the right. Normally I would chop it. I'll do it now. Okay. So that's that's good enough. Obviously you want to make sure that they're the same. Uh, width and everything but that'll be okay for now so that part is done <clears throat> the next thing that I want to do is these videos the top videos come on later so what I want to do is move my filter to only be on top of the big video right and so these ones have their own little filters so if I and I've got these already made if I go back here I've got these little filters so I've got this one I'm going to copy it and paste it and size it to go onto this one. Um, there we go. Oops. And stretch it out a bit. Now I'm moving quickly so it won't be perfect for this demo but you get the idea. And then I'll choose another color for the bottom video. I've got this one already made so I'll use that one. I'm going to paste it and resize it and then I'll stretch it out like that maybe move it a bit down that, that'll do it so and the last thing that I want to do because I want the filter and the video that it belongs to to um, come in together firstly I'll just determine which video that is yeah that's the right one so I'm going to move the picture at, to come in at the same time as the video and then I'm going to group them so I've selected both of them and I will hit Control J to group them and then I'm going to apply a wipe animation and I need to make sure that it's coming from the left and the, the speed again will be up to you and what you want to achieve with this effect I'll leave it at 0.75 for now and this one here 
that belongs to that video. So I'm going to move it down. Um, I've actually got these wrong, so sorry about that. I'm going to move this one down there and this one here. And again, I'm going to select both Control G to group. I'm going to add the same animation. I could format paint, but I'll just do that. And that should work as I expect. Obviously you might do, need to do a little bit of tweaking, preview it and make sure that it works the way you want it, but that's the basics of it. So there's my main video playing and in a second or so the other one's going to come up. My, my filters aren't quite right there but you can fix that up. And there you have it. There is how, That is how you can crop videos in Storyline to any shape that you want and how you can apply some simple filters to get a different feel, a different look and feel for your videos. I hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.